Hi, my name is Brittany Evans. I currently teach in Northern York County School District as a first grade teacher at Northern Elementary. I also serve as a Girls on the Run coach. I'm attending Millersville for my master's in assessment curriculum and teaching with a STEM concentration. I have one more course following the inquiry for teaching and learning um, before I have completed my master's. I enjoy kayaking and hiking and this summer we were, we were able to hike in Sedona, Arizona um, through the Grand Canyon and in the Red Rocks as well. I also enjoy spending my time with my nephew and my sister Brianna who is currently um, serving in Nicaragua for a year. As I was reading, I found a lot of positive um, parts to action research. The one quote that stood out to me from Ferenc on page 17 was, we have so often felt pulled in one direction or another by the swing of the education, educational pendulum. By doing our own action research, we could gain a better perspective into our own teaching and the students' learning. This was my initial draw, seeing the benefits that I could pull out of um, for my students and my own teaching. While I do see the benefits, I do see how there could be um, some difficulty with this as well. So when looking at the different stages um, in the action research, I found the most difficult stage to be identify an area of focus. As this is a culminating class, um, we've come across many different strategies and areas um, to focus on. And I think it's just going to take time to process um, and eliminate those to come down to one. I also think that becoming more familiar with my students, I'm going to be able to better identify an area um, where maybe I need um, to be able to reach them more or there's an area that they're lacking in as well. So once I get to know my students, I do think um, identifying um, a focus area will become easier. So looking at our own teaching is real professional development, according to Ferenc. However, when Mill says make action research a part of daily teaching practices, I see signs going off saying, um, with what time and what extra energy? I know there are many benefits to this, but collecting an area of focus, collecting the data, analyzing, interpreting the data, developing an action plan, then following through with the plan. It just seems like there are a lot of different timely aspects to it. And I do think that there are benefits to it. However, how I have my current um, classroom set up, I don't think I have time to do this in a daily manner. However, with that being said, um, Mills challenges us to try the process and be convinced that the investment of time and en energy is worth the outcome. So as we go through this course, I am going to be open-minded um, and making sure that I am devoting the time and energy necessary to gain the benefits from it. And I also feel like I could prove to my district and administration, this could be a worthwhile aspect to have um, developing teachers and maybe in lieu of some professional development, have them doing these action research to try to make up for some time there. Stories from the field. When I was reading both of the stories, the first one definitely stood out to me the most. Um, the thing that stood out to me was action research changes the conversations that take place in school. I think this struck me because I found that as they were um, going through their action research, they kept on focusing the conversations, who they were having conversations with, what they were having those conversations about. So I feel like the conversations really aided in their growth and they were open and purposeful dialogue, um, which really benefited not only the teacher, but also the students and other colleagues that were involved and in those conversations. So that's one of the big takeaway, takeaways I took from that. 
Um, some concerns for my classroom also go along how the they talked about moving in circles in the beginning. They had many different minds and they all were headed into a different strategy and they ended up selecting a single strategy to focus on for themselves while working together still. Um, I think I will be able to do this too once I narrow down my strategy. Like I had said previously, I, I think that's going to be hard for me to choose one focus area. But I am looking forward to, as Mills said on page five, um, taking action and infecti infecting, affecting, sorry, positive educational changes in my own classroom and school based on my findings. Thank you for your time.